That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to test the lead uh, for a console. So this is off uh, a Horizon Elite 07. It's quite a generic machine, popular machine. And I've got the console and the wire off just for the purposes of clarity. And I'll flip it over. So if you're going to check that the console has got power to it, what you need to find is the connector that goes to the leg of the machine that runs down to where the power comes from, which is from the lower circuit board on the machine. So on this one, what you'll, you'll find is you'll find the wire comes up, up the leg and out onto a connector. On, on this one, it goes onto a, a link connector, which actually connects into the back of the console. On your machine, depending on which model you have, it might actually connect into the console circuit board itself, but the procedure's the same. So I'll show you how to test whether we're getting power to the console. So the way that you do it is, first of all, you need to disconnect the connector, because obviously you're going to see it something like that. And on this one, there's a little latch that we press, disconnect it, and the power is coming up the leg. So it's important that you check the right, the right connector, and this is the one on the leg. So I'm not going to check that little flying lead there. We'll put that to one side for a moment. You need your multimeter, and we don't know whether the voltage that comes up the leg, whether it's AC or DC voltage, it could be either. On this particular machine, I think it's DC, but yours could be AC. And you need to set your meter accordingly. I'm using an auto ranging meter, which means that if I set it to voltage, it will automatically change itself. Uh, your meter, you might need to choose AC or DC. And if you're not sure which, which you probably won't be, what I'd suggest is you do the test once using DC and then a second time using AC. And you need to select a low range, like zero to 20 volts, for example because all the consoles are powered on low voltage. You're not looking for Bain's voltage, it's a low voltage test so it's safe, but you do need to have the machine turned on. So find that connector, disconnect it, make sure it's the connector that comes up the leg, turn the machine on. It's all low voltage, so you haven't got any risk with getting electric shocks out of here. Set your meter to voltage, either AC or DC, and then take your probes and onto the metal contacts, you need to probe every single pair. What you're looking for is a voltage. And you're looking for a voltage like 12 volts, 15 volts, 18 volts, that kind of thing. Uh, all the machines have a slightly different control system, so I don't know exactly what the voltage will be, but it will be something like 12, 15, 18 volts, AC or DC. And to wait, the way that you probe it is you just take one of your probes and hold it onto the, one of the metal contacts and take the other probe and carefully touch the metal contact next to it, see if you get a reading on your voltmeter, and then work through all the other contacts one at a time just to see. And the reason we have to do that is because unless you've got a circuit diagram for your machine, you won't know which, which pair of wires the voltage is supposed to be coming on. This is a Horizon Elite 507. There isn't a circuit diagram for this machine that's easily available, so we don't know which one it is, but we know that there will be two wires that do voltage. So after you've done one, move the connector, move your probe rather to the next connector, and then probe the next ones. And just work through, take your time, work through in sequence, and test it, and keep looking on your voltmeter every time you're doing the test to see if you get a reading. And then let me know what the reading is, because I'm looking for a reasonable voltage, and we don't know what it is, so just tell me what you find. Um, and if you're not sure how to do it, uh, drop me a line, give me a call, whichever, and I'll, I'll explain it. No, it's no problem. But that's it. That's how to test whether the console has got voltage. Okay, good luck.